Okay, so I'm gonna try playing uh, We Party, high, uh, We Party You, Highway Rollers, Master Difficulty again. Cat, she's a friend with the windows. Kitty. Let's just start the flipping game, and I saw Owen in the background in green. Kitty. Catty. Catty Ratty. She's so cute. And, uh, you know, at least this one, I think I've been getting better at, I hope. <laughs> well, either way, uh, just like we party the first, uh, uh, I feel like you gotta, you have only a very limited amount of, uh, people to play against in master difficulty. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, you end up playing against the same people over and over again, but okay, there we go, thank gosh. And there's me, bro. And I saw Hal and August, perhaps. Uh, okay. But of course, at one point or another, they're gonna throw the swimming one at me, and that one is the worst. Officially the worst for master difficulty, so anyway. Anyway, yeah, we get it. Uh, and at least there's Fleur in the crowd. And Ile, and I don't know about August or whatever, but I see me, Mom. Which is always good. Dang. There's like moving 50 spaces right there. Slinky cat. Okay, so I just gotta get lucky with the mini games they give me. If only there was a skip or speed up a button. Uh, okay, and she didn't land on anything significant. He's gonna land on something lucky. Yep. <laughs> it might as well be lucky to get last place or a low roll because you can still go up 20 or 10 or get five more dice. <laughs> and there's a Nathan roll. And the guy with the most Asian sounding name. And I think I can make that observation because I am Asian myself and you couldn't tell from the reflection my reflection and pretty much perhaps all of my Tamadachi life videos at one point or another <laughs> so I think I can point out random characters Asian Nessus <laughs> either way uh okay uh, then why am I playing a, a me, a character that is white? I don't know. <laughs> and then again, it's a video game, so who cares? Crap. <laughs> well, that took forever. Greatly contrast the last time I played this since JJ because I got first uh, uh, in like uh, a couple seconds the last time I played that as him. Uh, I don't know why Party Phil only then decides to tell you that you can roll the dice that much, especially when someone already would have gotten a bunch of dice at that point. And dang. So she only went up like 20 plus spaces or something. Dang. <laughs> David in the crowd sympathizing with them. Traitor. <laughs> uh, 
Of course. Well, at least he didn't, well, too bad he didn't land on anything. He could have landed on a negative 10. Dang, am I still somehow in first place or something? Dang, that first win really got me quite far then. How f uh, dang, am I still in it for first? Uh, uh, dang it. Uh, dang, I'm still somehow in first though. I must have gotten lucky with that very first roll. TikTok taught me how long seconds really are. Kind of have to hold the thing between my legs in order to be still. Dang. <laughs> well, there we go. Wasn't was a bit off the mark, but whatever. I wonder how much infinitely harder it would be doing it with just one hand and not holding the Wii Remote or just setting the Wii Remote down or anything, but dang. Uh, it's too bad I never see David in the crowd and I feel like I got a crappy roll, a bunch of ones. Well, at least it's not crappy according to the game. Dang. So even if I don't bust it down, it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, hopefully I, I can bust it down quickly. There we go. So I don't have to potentially waste a, another good roll afterwards. Dang, I get to go up 10 spaces anyways. I went up like 40 plus spaces. Dang. Well, there goes away all my stress for now. Before I get boned, inevitably boned at some point later on. <laughs> well, dang, I got a bit of catching up to do. They're still a bit away from the bridge I just busted down for them. far away he is from the bridge. Uh, but dang. I just gotta keep getting first place in all the other mini games now. And then Avril, Aiden, Inez, and somebody wearing a white shirt in the background. Anyway, earlier today, I guess while they're having their turns, um, I was like at Target, and uh, for some reason, like we saw like some lady, um, and, uh, uh, and my mom was walking by. It's like we saw some lady, and she was like, for whatever reason, it was like, like, um, like she seemed like a relatively like lighter skinned person, but it's like she had like. But it was like, it was as if like she would, like she rubbed like brown makeup on her face for some reason. Like, and we looked down at her hand and it looked a lot lighter. So unless she had a vitigulo or what, whichever condition Michael Jackson had, uh, that lady was wearing like black face for some reason. So yeah, and it was weird because like, it, it, it's like she literally like smudged makeup on her face, dark makeup on her face and ever so conveniently made it so the makeup wasn't really like there was like a bit of space around her lips like she didn't even try touching up near her lips which either way she, like she, she shouldn't have done that anyways and shouldn't have put makeup on her face anyways in the first place but it was just weird like uh like yeah like it's 2024 you can't be doing that especially here in minneapolis after all the George Floyd stuff happened, so yeah, you can't be doing that crap in general, not just here, but anywhere, 
So I have no idea what the heck that was about, and I'm taking too long to just do the flipping mini game. But yeah, it was just weird. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it was like a distasteful prank or it was just a social experiment. I hope it was a social experiment. That's the most innocent answer I can think of. Crap. And I gotta pay attention to the game. could have made it well either way it was, yeah that was just a whole thing that happened today 26th of january 2024 don't know why somebody was doing that doing some weirdo even as a social experiment and i don't know why anybody was doing that but that was certainly a thing that happened but yeah i don't know what on earth they were thinking Oh yeah, there we go. That, that was story time for the day, I guess. Doing an otherwise innocent game of We Party You. I guess that was an interesting story for the day. <laughs> yeah, it was just weird. Whoever you were, shame on you. Like, what the fudge? Anyway, I need to pay attention now. Dang, I thought this was master difficulty, but either way, yeah, that was just odd if anybody can come up with a quote-unquote innocent explanation for that, but I don't think there really is one, uh, considering what day and age it is now, uh, I can't, I don't know if there is a 100% innocent explanation for that. That doesn't, at the absolute least, make that person look questionable. At, at the absolute minimal, rock bottom least. <laughs> well, either way. Dang. And I have the opportunity to get even more dice. Uh, uh, now it's my turn to use the gamepad, and of course the one I'm always terrible at. Just the left thing, uh, and of course the one I always fail at. Uh, well, there we go. First time I managed to get at least one of them. Okay. Crap. Well, that's the best I've done at that one. <laughs> and it doesn't really matter. I just got a golden roll previously anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, they would need the help from that. Dang, I get to wear a platinum astronaut costume. Not the boring ones they got there. And it's not like their dice would really help them out that much anyways, even on top of their regular rolls. I don't think any of them are even close to the bridge yet. And there's Deanna, and Billy, and uh, Nemo, I believe. And 
dang, have any of them really reached the, the bridge yet? Just barely. Got a few ones. <laughs> and the game considers it a bad one. Well done. Done. <laughs> right behind Xian Jun. And she'll be the second ever to surpass the bridge, I guess. <laughs> and good thing she didn't land on anything significant. of her, at least. Uh, I wonder how far ahead I am. Dang. I got some distance to go. And of course the one I keep being bad at, usually. Unless the other ones are bad, but this is Master Difficulty. And who do pays for the damages? Me, ex-sister-in-law, and Signatius. Hogging the front of the screen. Dang, doing surprisingly well so far. Dang. I didn't win, but I didn't manage to get hit. guys are pretty far behind anyway, so, uh, dang, yeah, and we're not even towards the first bridge, the second bridge, or anything like that. And another last place boost, dang, and he's still behind me. My name, Jeff or something, whatever that meme is related to, or whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what that's in reference to, but either way. Uh, I'll skip out on the nukes, but still. Uh, and there's Jellyfish and Doc Aver, or A-Iver. But we don't talk about anything AI related, <laughs> clearly, and yeah, crap. Better than 10 dice or whatever. <laughs> crap. At least I went up some squares whatsoever. <laughs> well, dang. Still fairly far ahead of the others, though. Uh, and there's Amar and uh, Ashwin. <laughs> Another first place boost for Jeff. <laughs> and now we're closer, bunched to get close, more closely bunched together. I wonder how far back he was, though. <laughs> Not an awful lot, but whatever. Uh, dang. Uh, so, 
just gotta pay attention to where the person goes. They always go underneath that thing and uh, and they went a bit too far. Super close. <laughs> of course. Pretty sure that exact same thing happened to almost happened to Poofister, the YouTuber, not to be confused with the offensive slur, British slur, British slang. That's literally the channel name. Uh, at least someone could open that door or open the bridge. Like, it's almost made me hesitant to even say their username because, uh, I'm afraid at least one, uh, person, UK person might confuse that with, uh, with one of their more offensive slang. So, yeah. So, it all almost makes me quite, uh, wonder if I even should, like, uh, say their username. And this one usually bones me as well. Trying to get her. Crap. <laughs> of course. Probably longer than I usually last at that one. At the absolute least, at rock a bottom least. Uh, at least you can try to get the thing open to take all my stress away, like I did for them earlier, so that if they could repay the that or whatever. And it's like he's not going much further beyond that point anyway. Uh, okay, good. Takes all my stress away. It would have been probably made more sense if like uh, they had... If they only gave you two dice and thus it makes the odds slightly or I don't know, but I don't know, I feel like the odds of getting at least one green one would be fairly high if you were given five dice, but, so I don't know, it makes, uh, gives it more of a 50-50 or something if you have, if they, uh, uh, if you only gave them two dice and one of them had to be green or whatever, and then Jeff keeps getting boosted. I spread. Uh, and now I can't tell how who is in first. Uh, or who's ahead of who? Dang. Well, oh, no, he's ahead of me. Dang. And now he gets the same treatment that I got. Dang. I think that's even more than he went forward. Only by a two squares though. <laughs> Dang. Uh, well, there's a possibility I could land on one of the green ones. Double and get even more dice. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh. <laughs> Dang. Dang, well, we keep helping each other out. Okay, good, it wasn't like an alien or anything. <laughs> well, and at least she'll miss out on the nuke. Uh, uh, and 
crap. The safari one, like the derby dash from the first Wii party is like the easiest one. And again, saving the hard, probably saving the harder ones for the, or whatever, and I see the avian male, uh, and captain. shaking it hard enough or something, or it wasn't right on the red line, but either way, <laughs> it's like your knee perks up a little bit when they do the roll off, only to realize, yeah, I'm in last place still, <laughs> uh, dang. to the negative rolls. I know we shall miss out on the nuke. And there's Turtle Man. And I'm pretty sure I've already seen like a gazillion more Turtle Man before. And I will see a gazillion more after this point. Crap. Wait, wait. Crap. the second time he's landed on those things, and the third overall time someone ran on, got one of those. Dang. And I wasn't paying attention to what his positive roll was beforehand. Dang. <laughs> that would be an interesting running gag if he kept running on one of those things. Or landing on one of those things, more likely. Fourth overall time and it has happened in the second time this has happened. Dang it. Uh. <laughs> well, dang. Now I gotta get extremely lucky with the mini games. Uh. Of course, the one that keeps boning me. Uh. I just gotta pay attention as well. Okay. Okay. I think it's this way. Oh wait, crap. They got like perfect memory. <laughs> Just gotta copy their homework at the very end. <laughs> uh, at least the guy that's ahead didn't get first. Dang. <laughs> now, of course, and it's criminally easy to get at least 30. Green 
stuff, the red stuff again. And crap. Uh, okay, what are the we? No, okay. Okay, wait, what? Well, I guess. Uh, uh, okay. So you can't get hit at either. If you run out the timer, does that mean we win or something? Or, or wait, no, he has to go down, of course. Crap. <laughs> He's not the best at shooting. <laughs> he could have shot him from behind right there. <laughs> I lost, but I think I had better logic than he used at the very end. I could pick the mini game next time. If I don't surpass them, which I won't, and cute dolphins in the background. Uh, of course. <laughs> of course. Like the fifth time, what a coincidence, the fifth time that's happened. go he went he didn't go any further <laughs> dang <laughs> he got a golden 10 only to be given that right back dang i am far behind now uh, well i got two over 200 oh i had stilo stuff other time And for some reason, I think I might do better with my right hand, but... Dang, that noise, though. Dang. Dang, well, that's one to beat. Great. Not my 202 yard record as you see at the top, but either way. For some reason I feel as if the closer they zoom in on you, the you you can tell they're not gonna make it nearly as far. Or dang. He came pretty close. Well crap. I feel like the if they're zoomed in relatively close to you that into them that kind of shows how far, how short they're gonna fall. Dang. But they're doing pretty good though. Uh, well, I just gotta prevent him from getting first. Uh, okay, thank gosh. Dang. It's a lot closer than I thought though it would get. Well, thank gosh, I'm hecka far back, far behind, just so it doesn't really matter, but unless they land on a UFO or something. 
or if I land on a UFO. Dang. Dang, those dice got some air. Dang, I got a lot of sixes. Wow, so what does that add up to in total? Dang. Well, that's probably the highest roll I've ever gotten. Dang. Well, here's my lucky day then. I get ten more. Uh, wow, and then I get a lot of fours. The last one had a lot of sixes and... Okay, good. I don't really land on anything. Dang. Uh. Uh. Jeff could use her last place to last place boost again. Why not? <laughs> of course. Every time you want to call it a crappy roll, it ends up being really good. <laughs> At least that means you can't land on anything anyways. <laughs> uh, she would have to get lucky to get even 30, which, yeah, she won't. So there's at least some chance I can still beat her. But now I just gotta get really lucky with the mini games. Dang. Does that mean I get to pick the mini game again? Uh, dang. So I guess, yeah, I get to pick it again. Uh, especially since that wasn't even a real roll. There we go, I get to, I could potentially get a couple more dice. Uh, crap, okay. And since it's master difficulty, of course. stuck on something. Uh. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, even though I think I'll still be able to get the, get to choose the next mini game. Unless that happens. Dang. Uh. Dang. Okay, good. And that means I don't land on anything specific. Yeah, of course, she's like right next to the finish line. Okay, okay, so I can still pick the mini game. Uh, okay, crap. 
still not sure about all the about all the I think that's also a game that's kind of up to timing, and of course she gets first. And again, getting uh, the number 40 roll on the first time is kind of hard. <laughs> she doesn't even need all those dice. Way more dice than she'd ever need. <laughs> and they still have the audacity to call that a bad roll. Now it is lower. Uh, and of course, it's criminally easy to get over 20 in your roll. Uh, though there's a possibility you could land on a. There we go. <laughs> uh oh. the one that wasn't that far behind in the first place. I think they should have made it so if you fail the challenge, you get thrown back 20 plus spaces. It's kind of criminally easy to get over 20 in your first place roll, I feel. I get to go dang. Dang. Well, there we go. I guess I need to get insanely lucky with the next roll. Uh, which is hard, of course, to do. And there's Fleur in the background, and there's probably a bunch of her. as long as the others don't get first place. <laughs> we get to repeat mini games. Uh, well, I won the last time we did this, and the game board of strategy. <laughs> I don't know why I got that from the Action 52 manual, and I don't know why that phrase is now stuck in my head. Get insanely lucky. Uh, <laughs> I guess now I don't have to go all out with the roll. <laughs> uh, see how much that adds up, though. Dang. If only I that was earlier, but okay. Of 
course of my watching and speaking anything, of course, are gonna 